How's it going, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Got uh, worked out a kind of an easy or as easy as possible version of this acoustic strummer tune for you. Um, I've got an email list down there that you can sign up for a free ebook and free lessons and other cool stuff. You can click right down there and check it out. Uh, but I'm going to break this tune down for you right now. Here we go. All right, so there is a little line, and you can get. Get your index finger on the 5th fret of the high E, your middle finger on the 6th fret of the B, ring finger on the 7th fret of the G, and you're going to go... They're all double, and you're going to start on the high E, then the G, then the B. And then if you can add your pinky a whole step up from your middle finger on the B string, that's the next note. Like that. Watch real slow. So that last little thing is 6 on the B, 5 on the B, 7 on the G. Okay. Uh. Now let's get to the verse. I'm going to play an F bar chord. It's in the free ebook that I have, but you could also play it this way. Or this way. There's a lot of variations. Um, I'm going to do this bar chord. It's great practice. So might as well start working on it. If you can't do the full bar chord, it's going to sound really good to play the power chord. First fret, third fret, third fret. And so it's... Check it out. That's the rhythm for the verse. Okay, so then we need to go. That many times on the F, which would be called two measures, which is like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. to a C chord, and if you look at this bar chord, the ring finger's already where it needs to be. Same, same length. Um, the third chord's the same length of time, but now it's a B flat major chord. The way I play it is I, the root's on the first fret of the A string, and then I play third fret on the D, G, and B with my ring finger. And the high E's just kind of muted. That's probably the hardest bar chord to play. You could play the power chord like this. One, three, three. And so that's gonna be the same time, same amount of time. And then either up a whole step to C major, or a C major, like this. Okay, so the first half of the verse looks like this. Go again. Okay, repeats the whole thing again. Check it out, same thing, B flat. Uh, so it just rings on the B flat. G, four, five, six, seven, eight. Into the chorus. And so the chorus, what we'll do is so for the verse, we'll go. And the chorus will go. Real poppy. Um, now you could do po uh, power chords on this whole thing as well for each root if you prefer. 
So, but it's an acoustic version. So we've got the choruses F to C to B flat. Then it, it, it feels like it needs another chord to finish it evenly, but the, it actually starts over right there with an F for... Then to A minor. We haven't done that one yet in the song. It's in the e-book. Then B flat. Up to C. Back into another verse. So here's the whole chorus. Check it out. F, 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 C, 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 E flat. F, 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 A minor. a bridge. Check out the bridge. They're whole notes, meaning they ring out. They actually ring out for eight counts. It's like B flat or a power chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up a whole step. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then F for a four count. One, two, three, four. To C. Two, three, four. And and then it's going to be a B flat for eight counts. So the bridge. One, two, a B flat, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, two, three, you can play C right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, or C power chord. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it kind of goes into the chorus, but it's a little bit of part of the bridge. It's a little different. It goes like this. It's kind of like the chorus, but it's F for eight, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, three, you know. Same distance as before, but now C for four to D minor for four, or a D power chord. That little end of the bridge where it feels like the chorus, but it does something a little different. It's F. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's a little different. And then back to F. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Then C for four. One, two, three, four. B flat. Two, into the chorus again. There's just a little weird thing where it goes up to D. There's some variations, but if you're playing it as a beginner strummer, I mean, the most important thing is to have that verse down, have the chorus down, right? And then that little bridge where it's just the whole notes. It's not that hard. And then there's, you know, some, you know, it's heavily arranged for a full band, but this is more the acoustic strummer version. All right? Hope that helped. All right, that was the lesson. I hope you had a blast with me learning how to play this tune. You can sign my list down there for some free goodies. We'll see you guys later.